on the number one job of the cardiovascular system is nutrient delivery, nutrient delivery. And it's taking those nutrients, okay, to every part of the body, every cell in the body. Uh, and if that doesn't happen, then we have problems that come up. So let's talk about the different parts or players on this team and in this system. What all is included in the cardiovascular system, right? Well, there's actually multiple systems involved in this one, but let's talk about this one, uh, these main ones right here. So obviously your heart, uh, that's one that everybody understands. We're gonna talk about flow of blood in the heart, uh, the proper flow of blood and what happens when that doesn't work correctly. The lungs, uh, the lungs are really key for keeping the blood oxygenated and keeping it healthy and detoxing it. So um, one of the next systems we'll teach on is the respiratory system. Uh, keeping it healthy is key to having a healthy heart. You can't have a healthy heart without healthy lungs. Um, and so that's really important. Uh, arteries and capillaries, um, these have a very specific role in carrying blood away from the heart. We'll talk about that. Veins, veins are important for bringing the blood back. It's a, it's a closed system where you're pumping blood out to take the nutrients and once they're used, you need to clean out the stuff that has already been used take it back to the factory for reprocessing. And that's what the veins do. And then you have your red blood cells uh, and the red blood cells. Again, there are more, there's more than this. Okay. It's more in, that, in depth than this. So if you uh, are a cardiologist, you know, there's more than this. If you are a hematologist, there's more than 